God bless you and welcome to your divine appointment, the media ministry of Devon Jackson MD Ministries. We're delighted you've joined us as we're continuing our series on lessons from leprosy. Please do visit our website at www.djmd.org and we praise God for you being with us. We are continuing our study here and we left off last time talking about the uh, great doctrines of the Bible, basically, uh, one of them being redemption, uh, one of them being uh, sanctification, another one being regeneration and glorification, and so on. The ones that we covered had to do with uh, regeneration, that we, at the time of being born again, received new genes from our new father, and therefore a new spirit, because God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And it's our spirit that's born again. And then we dealt with sanctification, which is the process of being set apart from the world. That's the work of the spirit in our life. Notice the Holy Trinity at work. At the time of being born again, we receive the new nature of our heavenly father. It is the Son, Jesus, who paid the price for that to occur. It is then the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit who acts on what Jesus paid for to sanctify us. Jesus, having paid for these things, the Spirit of God then puts them to work in us as we allow him. And we've got to do that. Um, so we bless God for those. We want to talk then about some of the other great doctrines, which are... Um, glorification. And uh, glorification has to do with that final work in us, which will be when we are taken out of this world into the world to come, where there is perfection everywhere. And we will be in perfect peace, perfectly with our perfect uh, Father forever. And that is glorification. Um, Christ himself upon earth said to his father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was. There's a glory that's in heaven that you and I have never seen, felt, and eyes haven't seen it, ears haven't heard it, uh, neither has it entered into the heart of men, the things God hath prepared for us. Glorification will be wonderful. It will be the consummation, the completion of the work Christ began in us by his dying on the cross for our sins. And we look forward to glorification. Um, one of the other great doctrines of the church is redemption. And um, when I spoke of Christ dying and paying the price for our sin, that is uh, the heart of what redemption is. Now, the word redemption has in it a root word called redeem. To redeem something is to purchase it back. And we, of course, were created by God and belong to God. But because of sin, we became slaves to sin and under the dominion of the devil. And so then our sin nature coming from the devil, the devil became our father. Jesus now pays the price for sin. The scripture says, as we alluded to uh, earlier, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's Romans 6 and 23. Now, the sin debt is that when we sin, we have to die. Well, if all men die because we're all sinners, then there's nothing gained. But if there's one man anywhere who is sinless, got to be a man to pay the price for man. But if there's a sinless man anywhere, that man then does not have to die. But if he's willing to do so anyway, on behalf of all other men, he can pay the debt of sin and then we don't have to die. Well, in searching for that perfect man, we know that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, none of them qualified. But there is one man that did qualify, and that was the God man. God himself had to take on human flesh and become a man, live a sinless life, and then die a substitutionary death, a death that is in substitute for all of us guilty men. And that's exactly what Jesus did. And then not only died, went into the earth, he was dead. Um, some people say he fainted, he swooned. No, Jesus died. 
because the wages of sin is death. He died for our sins, the scriptures say. And then, of course, the third day he rose again and is alive forevermore. And because he lives, we can live also. Um, Jesus told Martha there at the tomb of Lazarus, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And we're glad about that. And we'll talk more about it next time.